five. I don't know what it is about these things, but I get very nervous doing live videos, so I do apologise. My husband's just sent me a WhatsApp saying I liquid dumped. That's nice. Hello, everybody. How are you all? How are you all coping with this nonsense? Oh, right, okay. So, this is the one that you've probably all been waiting for, which is the package sent to production companies or publishers. If you want to write books, publishers. And if you want to do script writing, it's for production companies. Okay, my notes. Okay, so, have you got your notepads ready, guys? Okay, so I had a message the other day with someone asking, how do I know if my script isn't a pile of shite? Uh, Chaz and I found uh, that we sort of had something when we showed it to quite critical family members, one of which being my uncle Trev, who plays Len, and he, he said, oh, it's quite funny, and they laughed about it. That's how we knew we had something. But I think it's a really tough one, actually, to show um, other people your work because it's such an intimate thing and it can make you feel so... I mean, I still get really fucking embarrassed showing anybody anything that I've written. And um, I, I don't think you have to, personally, because either they won't be asked to read it... Um, don't show it to friends or family because they, they might say it's really good just so, to not hurt feelings. Um, or they'll say, you'll give them a good script and then they'll give you really shit notes because they feel like they have to be critical. Somebody just said, I did not know Len was your uncle. Oh, yeah. Um, so I think uh, that you just should reread it, reread what you've done. And if you're happy with it, then that's fucking good enough. You're your own judge. If you're happy with your work and you're happy to send it out, then fuck everyone else. First notes done. Okay, so you need 10 pages of dialogue. Um, uh, so what we use to write scripts and what everybody in the industry uses is a program called Final Draft. Uh, which is like a sort of program I think you can download online. I don't know how much it is now. It's not complete. It's not absolutely necessary. If you can't afford to do it, don't do it. But if you do get picked up by a production company, you'll have to get it pretty fast. So it's called Final Draft. Remember that. Write that down because that's important. Okay. So, the first 10 pages of your script sent to production companies. These can literally be the first 10 pages of your script, like as in linear. Um, or it can just be scenes with different characters and dialogue. What I would say to you is don't worry too much about the story because, Charlie, give you an example, Charlie and I are absolutely fucking shit at storylines. That is what a producer is for. That is what they're meant to fucking help you with. That's their job. So all you have to worry about is that your dialogue um, is absolutely bang on. Somebody just said, do the 10 pages need to be sequential storyline or random scenes? I've just said it. They can be either or. doesn't matter. Um, so we were, Chaz and I were really lucky. We got put with a brilliant uh, director, Tom George, and producer Simon Mayhew Archer, who help us write our storylines because we're brilliant at writing dialogue but putting it all into a thing that actually makes sense we're not so great at i mean you have your strengths and you have your weaknesses man um okay so for a novel or a book if that's what you're writing i think it's just one chapter that you need to send out but you have to make sure um because most publishers, if they read it and they like that first chapter, they'll ask you for, to send the rest of the book. So you need to have the rest of the book written. So basically, it's bad news for you novelists out there. Because you need to have written that whole book, motherfuckers. Okay, so. So, just to reiterate, ten pages. Somebody's put, I was overwhelming myself with plot. 
don't overwhelm yourself with plot. That's not your job. You can have help with this in development with a production company. Just worry about the dialogue. The dialogue is the thing that the producer will look at and go, do you know what? These characters have massive potential. Um, okay, covering letter. So this should be in it as well. And the covering letter, it should just be, say a bit about yourself, why you're writing this, um, your experience as a writer. If you have no experience, write, I have no fucking experience. Um, and tell us a, a short description of yourself, like what you do, why you wanted to write it, etc. But be sure, like, Producers go through scripts every day and they don't want your life story. It's just a little blurb just to tell them a bit about yourself. If it's a comedy, make that blurb funny. Please make it funny because that's the first thing that they'll see. And even if it's a drama, make, make it funny if you want. You want to engage that producer immediately, immediately. Okay, so that's very important. Okay. okay, so the next page will be your character descriptions. So it just does what it says on the tin. Each of your characters um, and explaining a bit about them and their relationships with other characters, should they have any. And please make this interesting. It doesn't have to be a boring A4 bit of what's it so for example when charlie and i were sending this out to production companies instead of doing a normal ca normal character profile we did face little facebook pages for each of our characters and put that on onto pa onto paper so immediately like visually it just looks more interesting um somebody just put what was the other things for the cover letter that's it. They just tell them a bit about yourself and why you're writing this. That's it, by the way. Um, so, yeah, character descriptions. How can you be creative with this? How can you immediately get a producer on board with you? And, and they think, well, this is different from the rest of the boring old shite that I read because they've put it in, a, in an interesting sort of way. Okay. So I, I can't stress that enough. Every single thing should have your creativity into it. Uh, somebody's just put, is it best to send hard copy or email digital? I'll come to that later. Okay. So just hold on for a sec. Don't jump the gun, okay? I'm trying to help you out here. Okay. Treatment. This needs, so this is the next thing that needs to be in your package. Um, a treatment is just a A4 page and it is basically the outline of your show. And the top of the treatment should be like a couple of sentences that sum your show up in a nutshell. So, I mean, the only way I can describe this is like when I would buy point horror books and it would be like, the boyfriend and then it would say something like he'll love you to death you know what I mean I mean longer than that but you, you just describe what your your thing is in a nutshell and the first two sentences of that treatment so for example I'll just give it for like this country this country is a story about two cousins living in a small village that's as big as it gets it should be like a blurb for a film um, and also in the treatment, where is it set? Uh, set up the premise. Paint a picture for me with your wonderful words. Um, like I said, if a producer who's reading tons of scripts gets to your book and is just, gets to your bit of thing and it's just like very kind of, I don't know, just written like a recipe it's just so boring to read and it's not going to make anybody want to develop your script so yeah make it really interesting leave the producer thinking fuck i've got to find out more about this um 
And things also that I really hate in treatments, and it happens all the time, and I get something, my agent gets something for scripts that I'm asked to do, and I just think it's really shit, and don't do it, um, is things like, they say, imagine Dad's army, but set in present day, or imagine a mixture of The Office and The Bill. I don't want to fucking hear about other shows your show is unique because you wrote it it's not like any other show it doesn't matter if you're inspired by it obviously we were inspired by the office but we didn't write that in our script because ours was unique to us um and tell the producer in that treatment what is it that makes your show unique what is it that hasn't been seen before and we did it completely as a fluke because we just wrote our own story living in a small village and that is why um i come to my next point um this is why i said it was really important to write about characters that you know or that were in a documentary or somebody that you can visually see because no one can then say, well, you're plagiarizing, plagiarizing this character, or you're trying to do a David Brent here. And you say, well, no, because I based it on this person. So, so somebody just said, there's someone behind you. Please don't do that, because you know I get scared of ghosts. Um, somebody just put, how do I get away with it? Oh, fuck. How do I get around the fact that my comedy is based on someone I know? Will they know it's about them? That's exactly what we did. We based it about this guy and this girl that live in Siren. And we just based it about them and changed their names. Mr Perkins, our old woodwork teacher, we didn't even change his name. We should have done, but we didn't. So, anyway. Uh, okay, so what do you do? Uh, also, I want to to not because your stuff is so unique i don't want you to be put off by a slightly similar idea that's been there in the past so for example like jk rowling could have said fuck harry potter is such a good idea and then gone actually fucking worst witch is out isn't it and it's about wizardry and it's set at a fucking boarding school i just won't fucking bother them so it's it's the way, it's your take on it. Your take on your, uh, you know what I mean. But she did it in her own unique way. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway. Um, and this is really important. So if you're still writing your 10 pages, I just want to reiterate. That it's all about the dialogue. It's all about the characters. That's what shows your potential. And your dialogue should not be hard to write. And if it is, if you're struggling with dialogue for a character, I hate to say it, you've got to kill them. You've got to kill them. You've got to... Even if you love them, you just got to fucking get them away from your script because it's not working. And it doesn't matter. It, if, you, if you're really struggling, it should be a flow for when you're writing dialogue and if it's not then you just have to get rid of it 